How the Safe Moon is out there doing. It's 1.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. 6.30.2021. All right, now with the bridges. This is the thing you got to keep in mind. You've got the hand supporting it of Safe Moon with the wizard. The wizard, Papa, along with a partnership uh, who does cross-bridging and stuff for networks, P-Network. But anyway, the combination of his uh, work and theirs together to get this done, fantastic. And with the, this episode is going to be focused to a lot of the bridging and Gambia. So when you f- look at what's going on right now, the Gambia integration that they're working on, they're going to be taking more and more time back there. And, of course, when the wallet comes out and it's available for everybody in Gambia to use, that's going to be in the end of this month. You're going to see more action on Gambia in, in between now and then. And I just got the sneaking feeling that you're going to hear an announcement in early August or maybe even before. Uh, but anyway, we'll have to wait and see in other countries, too. So then you have the power of that symbol in the background, Safe Moon. <laughs> okay, Dandications, Papa's Node. Okay, this is good. Ex- very simple explanation. This it allows for constant arbitrage, the whole bridging asset aspect, raising the volume. It also allows you to use your safe moon without worrying about the 10% every transaction. Okay, because you get that from wallet to wallet, right? 10% every time. Burn part of it. Get my drift. Reflections. All right. So let's say you want to use your safe moon in game for trading goods. Think about that. Okay. You want to do it? Transfer your safe moon from BSC to ETH. Getting hit with the 10%, causing burn and reflections. That one time. After that, you can do whatever you want with those PSFMs. You can trade in game using the ETH network or the other networks. You can use it for NFTs. You can sell it if it's if the price difference is good. So PF, PSFM, if it's higher priced, boom. Okay, then, this is the thumbnail for today's video. The power of what this is, is basically this piece right here. I'm not going to read all this. I'll let this right in front of you so you can stop the video and read it. But it explains what is PSFM. Do I have to move it? No. What happens if I don't move it? Keep the safe moon on BSC has no repercussions. Right. You don't have to do anything. But if you want to, with Uniswap, right? Basically, do I get reflections? Yes, same as BSC. You will get constant reflections on your safe moon on the ETH network. Think about that one. If you want to be on the ETH network and you want to be doing the different things of in-game play and all that stuff, and guess what? You're still getting reflections. Is there a fee? Bridging requires a transaction to safe moon to be moved. Moving safe moon to any wallet or contract will activate the contract, meaning tax will be placed. Of course whenever you're doing that the one time now another thing here too this is a very good piece that safe moon just put out i'm not going to play the audio because a lot of times it gets copyright strict read that read it read it good how does it benefit you how how oh eos voting privileges reduced nft too fast i can't read it all (laughs) too fast too fast I'm going to let it play one more time. You can, you know, do it on your own. We'll watch it right here. Okay. One minute. Uh, all right. Good. Okay. Safe moon. Okay. Now, here we go. This first part, we're going to play over one more time. And I'm going to stop it here coming up. Right here. EOS voting privileges, reduced NFT fees on ETH, reduced trading fees on BSC, WAX microtransaction privileges. Fast block time due to Ether transactions for the payment processing in seconds. Low fees on NFT across all the ETH net blockchain, I should say. 15,000 nodes creating true decentralization. Okay, that's good for now because I'm not going to go through the whole video again. But I will link this tweet down below. This episode, like I said, it's going to be all Bridges and Gambia. Well, guess what? Uh, the Safe Moon Education website, this guy does one fantastic job of explaining. It's called education. <laughs> okay. 
And with this piece, it gives you the Safe Moon Bridges Explained video and then spells it all out in, in, right in front of you. And when you get all this provided to you free, you guys should think about contributing if you are generous. This is just a rush. And in the meantime, you got that meteor flying around in the background. I think that's pretty damn good. So this is a good one to uh, see and read. I'll link this down below also. You got so much that's provided, including Safe Moon Mark's video on the bridge. Now, I'm not going to play because I'll get a copyright strike, but Safe Moon Mark does a good explanation of showing everything for the bridging. Can I say bridges? Oh, I can say bridges. So this will be linked also. Three links down so far. Okay. BTC at 434-338 retracing. <clears throat> Basically, 6%. 1.4 trillion in the uh, market cap. Volume at 54 in the volume. You've got ETH at 2135, BNB at 285, ADA at 132, Doge at 24, XRP at 66. Should be a turnaround soon. We'll have to wait and see when. Former Bank of England governor throws support behind CBDCs. Water time. Okay. <laughs> Blockchain mining raises 25 million, six to triple hash rate. Good for them. Taiwan will launch new anti-money laundering rules for crypto exchanges. Everybody's doing it, and they should have done it a long time ago. Money laundering? Yeah. Knock it out. Make sure you regulate it up to the point of getting KYC done for those people, for everybody, just to prevent it. And then watch the different wallet transactions. Very easy to see what's going on with wallet transactions. Very easy. Now, getting back to what's exciting. In the United States on Sunday, is the 4th of July. That is also Safe Moon Sunday. Yeah, so there should be some fireworks going on on Sunday besides uh, in the United States stuff. I think that's going to be a Safe Moon Sunday fireworks episode, which I think is going to be a rush because you're talking about we're going now into July. Every week that goes on in July, it's going to have more and more of, of wild, exciting stuff, including marching towards the wallet release at the end of the month. Then you have more information coming on the exchange, more information on the Gambia deal, more information on so much more. And don't forget, the hardware wallet is coming out at the end of the summertime. So the month after, you've got that. Store your safe moon and other coins on the offline wallet. Who hasn't used a ledger? You know, for years I've had them. I've had BitFi, I've had Ledger, I've had even Treasure. Uh, but who was the best? Ledger. Now, would, is this going to be better? I think it's going to be. Encryption-wise, everything, yeah, I do. I think it's going to combine the best of Ledger and BitFi with having a nice bigger piece to work with, good display, in, wicked encryption, good stuff. So I'm not going to talk your heads off there. I was just watching TV at the same time. Not good. All right, so what I'm basically going to say here is that good stuff coming. It's hot here in the United States over on the eastern coast, I'll tell you that. Almost 100, 100 degrees today. Yeah, almost 100 degrees today. Crazy stuff. So staying cool, everybody. Have a good one. That beginning of the video was cheers with the uh, nice cold drink. Have one. Not saying you don't have to have the alcohol. But have a nice cold drink and get ready and be excited for what's coming. Yeah, July is going to be wild august is going to be wicked september you're just going to sit back and go holy mackerel later guys my name is john i'm the ceo of safe moon safe moon is going to the moon to be only maybe about 60 days old and be absolutely dominating they already have a four billion dollar valuation it is now available to more and more people we still are the fastest growing crypto on the planet. SafeMoon is officially the most watched cryptocurrency. And more and more people start knowing what SafeMoon is. They now have 1.9 million holders, number 38 in the world. Let's talk about SafeMoon. For SafeMoon. 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 SafeMoon.